Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming at the Pink Poodle, and later we'll talk with the owner, Beth Test, about what's new in store here. But lately, let's, let's move on to nutrition. Lately, the trend is uh, so easy to say that food is good or bad. Remember when fat was the bad guy and right. everything was non-fat? And carbs lately have been the bad guy. But it's maybe not as simple as that. So here to set us straight mm -hmm. is Tori Penn from Penn Fusion Fitness, who's diet doc of Madison. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We love hearing what you have to say and busting those myths yes. about what's going on in the nutrition world. Right. Can we start with glycemic index? Most definitely. Great. Enlighten us. <laughs> For sure. A lot of times like when you hear, you see glycemic index, the talk is, you know, you want to stay away from the high glycemic indexes, you know, the high, like, like your white bread, your white rices, like they stay, they spike your glucose and your insulin levels, they can turn to body fat, they can do this. You want to stay away from a lot of those. Mm -hmm. And the problem with it is, is that unless you're only having that specific carbohydrate and that's it without your meal then yes, it's gonna spike it kind of thing, but in the grand scheme of things, if you're hitting your daily calories, it's not gonna affect it. The other part of that is, is if you're having a protein, if you're having a fat meal, so if you're having some a piece of white, or a couple of pieces of white bread, nine times out of 10, you're having some turkey on there, you're having mm -hmm. something else, or you're having you know an avocado with it, or, or whatever the case butter. is. Right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Once you add in a protein carb or both, it pretty much negates the whole mm. spiking of the glucose in is there a little bit sure but it's not to the extreme of having just you know a high fruit kind of thing and right. that's all so, so as long as there's some balance there yeah for the most part majority of people aren't only just having just like cornflakes for breakfast in the morning you know they're mm -hmm. having you know some eggs on there or they're having a protein powder or they're having something else mm -hmm. you know with that or they're having some butter on their toast or so milk. Mm -hmm. yep, their exactly cereal, yep okay. so they're getting some protein some fat in there as well so it's negating that whole glycemic index. Mm -hmm. So at the grand scheme of things, it's am I hitting my calories that I need for the day first mm -hmm. and foremost? So is there an optimal time maybe to have, you know, a higher glycemic index? Sure, maybe a pre or post if you're working out? Sure. But if you have a banana at 11 o'clock night before you go to bed, if you're within your calorie range, it's not going to make a difference with fat loss or anything as, as like that. I like your approach because it's not to the extreme, you know, right. like you have to cut out all of this and only eat this and it's very balanced and right. how our bodies are supposed to function naturally. Exactly. So. It's, it's just one of those where if you tell somebody cut out this for the rest of your life and it's something that they truly enjoy, then they're going to be miserable or they're only going to do it for right. a short amount of time and then they're going to binge on that or they're going to over and do it and now they're going to, all that hard work that they put into it, now they're going to gain it all back and then some. Right. So they just feel defeated. Right? Yeah, exactly. And it's impossible. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of people, though, find it easier to just say, this is good or this is bad, mm -hmm. instead of going the middle of the road or moderation. Right. Right. Along Which, those same lines, too, I want to make sure we talk about gluten because yeah. gluten is, every, you know, a lot of people are going gluten free. Right. So touch on this for us a little bit with a little bit of time we have left. Yep. Is, is gluten free good? Do we do it for fat loss? Talk to us. Exactly. A lot of the bad things out there is that, you know, going gluten free is it promotes more fat loss. It, it's better for you. And unless you specifically have celiac disease, which is 0.71% of the United States population, mm -hmm. going gluten free isn't going to do anything more for you. So if you have gluten free oats or regular oats, no difference whatsoever. Okay. And 0.5% of the United mm -hmm. States population ha doesn't have celiac disease, but they have like a gluten tolerance. Mm -hmm. So the only true way to know is to go to your doctor get the test for the celiac disease. If you have it, then yes, gluten-free options out there that are available, great. The biggest thing why people maybe lose a ton of weight and say, oh my God, I'm on gluten-free and I've lost a ton of weight. Well, quick analogy, you have breakfast, you have cornflakes, you have your eggs, you have your bacon, you cut out your cornflakes, 50 grams of carbs gone. Mm -hmm. Now for lunch, you cut out your, your toast or your sandwiches or your rolls and have a salad instead. 50 more grams cut out. Mm -hmm. Now for dinner, you usually have pasta. Cut out your pasta, have a salad instead. There's 100 grams, it's 200 grams of carbs. It's 800 mm -hmm. calories in a day. I don't take away 800 calories from a client an entire week. So people right. lose all this weight initially saying, oh, gluten-free is that, and it's like, no, you just eliminated all your carb sources, right. so. And there we are back again, going to an extreme, and mm -hmm. the difficulty in maintaining that. Right. It, you know, that, there's right. the challenge. And if there. you have a tolerance, yes, gluten-free is that. But do not switch to gluten-free just because you think it's going to promote more fat loss, because it's not. Fascinating. It's crazy. I always learn so much when you come. <laughs> it's all good stuff. Tori takes on clients for nutrition, fitness, 
uh, wellness. Weight loss competition, weight loss. everything. That's right. So if you're interested in that, you can check out his website. Your website is? PenFusionFitness.com. That's right. We'll be right back with the Pink Poodle.